Welcome to the Thriving Farmer Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Kilpatrick. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and celebrate sustainable farming. We believe that you can build a profitable, sustainable farm that gives you true farm freedom. Join us as we talk to farmers, innovators, educators, and entrepreneurs to glean their top takeaways in business and life. Hey, Thriving Farmers, Michael here. So this is a special edition of the podcast. Just wanted to get out some information for you all on the COVID-19 virus. So I did a brief video on Friday, and we're going to roll that here in a few minutes, um, the audio from that. But first, just a couple updates because a lot of things have happened since I did that. So obviously here in Ohio, they've closed down bars and restaurants, and I know a number of states are doing that. Um, So a couple ways that farmers are starting to um respond to this obviously if you're selling csa and online we're just seeing those sales go through the roof um we're seeing the sales of home gardening equipment and tr- supplies and transplants going through the roof as well um we are seeing a decrease with some farmers if they're selling directly just their restaurants and results um one of our mushroom farmers did take a huge hit and now they're moving into farmers markets and trying to move to online sales so um do make sure that you do um, click over to our resource page. It's www.growingfarmers.com backslash tips. And we've got a bunch of different ways of different people are dealing with this. And we're updating that constantly based on the new information that's coming in. So um, first, you know, there's a lot of opportunity for local farmers in this to give people more awesome food. So I think that's the big thing is, look, yes, there's some challenges. Yes, some things are shutting down. Um, but I think it's overall going to be a massive opportunity for farmers. And two, just make sure you are, if you are delivering that food, you are staying safe. So one, make sure that you are using, um, you know, keeping good sanitation, wiping things down, um, wearing masks if you're packing, gloves, um, and make sure that those are just things are happening, that you're just being really careful because uh, people are getting sick from this. All right, we're going to go ahead and roll that video now. Hey, farmers, just wanted to pop in real quick and chat with you a little bit about this virus. I know a lot of you are seeing the effects in your local communities. I've talked to some of our farmers who are getting distribution channels cut, or we have one farmer that works in Las Vegas, and she's seen the strip um, completely cut that back and uh, start doing layoffs and stuff. So she's really worried about her income stream. So um, what I wanted to pop in today and talk to you about is A, kind of what's going on out there, B, um, some truths you need to internalize about that, and then C, how you can make your business even stronger through this. And four, we've got a resource sheet for you on um, some of the responses we've seen that are great and so that you can use those. So I'll mention that at the end. So stay with me through the video. So first, let's talk about what's going on out there. Um, We are seeing farmers lose some accounts, especially in restaurants and the hospitality industry because of conferences and events and weddings and such getting canceled. Those contracts are being pulled back. So we are seeing that. Now on the flip side, of that, we're seeing a rise in things like CSAs and home delivery and stuff like that. So that's definitely on the uprise. Um, one thing I do want to say is there's a lot of mass hysteria out there around this. Um, you know, I'm talking to my father, who's a physician. He actually teaches at a university. He's like, you know, yes, it's it's a, it's a thing. He said, yes, you need to wash your hands. Yes, people shouldn't be congregating, but it's not like people are portraying it. You do not need to go buy your local Walmart or Costco out of toilet paper. Um, So that's that. So on the other side is, you know, farmers markets in some cases are still open. Some are being closed. We're not kind of sure what's going on with those Um, based on. Um, some people are classifying those as a grocery store and actually saying they're better than a grocery store because they're out in the open air. You're getting vitamin D as you are shopping. Um, one thing to think about is your supply chain. You really do want to think about, you know, do you have wear parts? Do you have the feed and seed that you need to get started this year? Do you have packaging supplies? If you in your farm was going to get sick, Um, Do you have other farmers that you know that could fill in for you to get that spring planting? Because we're approaching spring planting time for so many of our farmers. Um, So let's talk secondly about some of the truths that you need to internalize. All right. So first, 
people still need to eat. And a healthy immune system is one of the best ways to combat these viruses and just get it as a mild cold instead of a much more serious um, aspect. Um, you know, it is worse on pre-existing conditions and if you are not healthy. So again, with the understanding that food is our medicine, people need to be eating more local healthy food to, uh, um, to be able to resist this. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not offering medical advice here, but we just know that to be true. Um, the other thing is it will abate or will end um, according to uh, the news in China. And we all know we may or may not be able to trust that. Um, they are saying it's peaked and on its way down over there and people are being released from quarantine. So um, our kind of a hope is that this has kind of blown over and is on the decline before summer farmers markets open up in let's say late May or early June, because we still have several months there. And, um, you know, Let's talk about how to leverage this now for your business. First, you need to reassure your customers that you are aware of the issue and doing everything that you can to, um, to reduce the contamination and to still get them healthy food. And again, remind them healthy food is a key for staying well. Two, you know, step up your sanitation protocols. Uh, make sure you're using the right kind of bleach and Clorox to clean your surfaces. Um, if you have people bagging products, make have them wearing masks. Even if they aren't sick, I would still be wearing masks because we do know that the um, incubation time of this can be so long. So we definitely want to make sure that that's happening. Again, use your own judgment um, at farmer's markets. If you are going to do farmer's markets, stop with the open sales of greens. Um, make sure everything's pre-bagged. This is not the time to say, oh, I don't want to use plastic. Use more plastic just to make sure people are staying safe. Um, have mix packs that people can grab and go. This is one of the good ideas from my friends at Six River Farms. Um, you know, don't sample, please don't do samples because again, this is an air, can be an airborne, it can be transmitted by hands. Um, so if someone coughs, that could spread on things and cause that. So if you do have people at a checkout, have a dedicated person that's wearing gloves, handling cash, and then the other people just handling the produce and have them making sure obviously they're following the sanitation protocols. And then if you are sick, do stay home. Don't risk it, guys. Even think it's just a cold, stay home. It's not worth the risk. Um, you know, a huge opportunity, and this is um, something I, I want, I've been heart talking about for years, is offer online purchase and home delivery. We are seeing a massive spike in that. Um, and it's it's really starting to work out. And people are people being preconditioned with DoorDash and those home delivery services. So they're more than willing to pay for the added delivery fee of this. Um, and you can absolutely outsource that. And there's actually great software that helps you, you know, figure out your routes and um, offer like stores for different areas and that sort of thing. Um, one thing too is do take stock, do tighten your belt a little bit because of the economy the way it is in relates not only the coronavirus but the markets because of oil we are going to see a little bit of a pullback from a lot of people so you do want to start thinking about that maybe now the time is not to invest in that brand new tractor um you know maybe wait a little bit make sure you're holding on to your cash reserves at the moment um, and then be ready for the whiplash. I absolutely believe that this is only going to strengthen the local food system because people are going to be more than ever scared of industrial food system that's bringing product product in from overseas or from thousands of miles away across the country. So absolutely think that you can leverage this in your business um, to provide more people healthy food because we know that's going to help them weather this storm um, better. All right. So we do have a resource sheet for you. We put it together at www.growingfarmers.com backslash tips. And we'll drop that in here below that. And you know, the goal with that is just that, you know, you give you some resources from some farmers markets, from the farmers market coalition. We're seeing some awesome posts from some of our fellow farmers out there in the world. And they are posting about this. So I a link to those. Um, if you have resources that you're seeing, we've got a box that you can add some comments and drop those in there. We can add them to the page. And then we also have some resources if you want to take your business online. We've got one of our software partners, Local Line, um, got some absolutely fabulous resources on how to get started quickly with an online store. We've also got some free um, survey, kind of like software, jot form, 
I believe, and Google Sheets, which you can use to take simple orders online as well, just to get started before you decide on a software solution. So those are the resources out there. Again, feel free to share below what your thoughts are. Again, I am not a medical expert, not trying to give any sort of medical advice. Our goal is just to help you be able to weather this storm in your business and grow and feed more people awesome food. So again, best of luck out there. We're here for you. Anything we can do to support you, let us know. And that resource sheet is below. So make sure you do go check that out. And Feed more people awesome food. All right, you have a great day. So there you have it, another episode in the books. So I'd love if you would hop on over to iTunes and leave us a rating and a review. Those mean everything to us. We love to hear what you're thinking. If you have a podcast guest that you can recommend, please pop on over to the Thriving Farmer Podcast website and leave us a review. That's thrivingfarmerpodcast.com.